Day five. Coming out of Jared's Gap. Uphill. Northbound. On the Appalachian Trail. Hoping to make it uh, over Blood Mountain and into Neil Gap by lunchtime. Then I'll reevaluate the situation. I stink. My clothes stink. I need a shower. So I'll see if they have availability there. If not, I might have to dip into town for a night. Take a mirror. Alright, well, let me get to hiking and I'll get back with you. Good evening everybody, it's John here. Uh, this is day five, Thursday. Um, we got to Neil Gap right around lunchtime and uh, met up with a guy from Baltimore, Maryland. And uh, we decided to Nero in here um, at the Blood Mountain Cabins, um, $36 per person uh, per night. I mean, that wow, that's great. Um, uh, We've had showers. They did our laundry for us. Um, I went over to the general store, ate a couple hot dogs. Um, it's been a good restful day. Opportunity to unpack the backpack, lay everything out, get everything dried out real nice. Um, see if there's anything that I need to toss or send back home. So far, I'm pretty spot on with my gear. Uh, there's nothing that I really need to... Um, to cut and send back so um, I'm in the loft tonight so you can see that I've just got my uh, stuff laying out just to uh, they came back from the dryer just a tad damp um, because it's wool and, and they dried on a very delicate cycle um, with low heat so that it won't shrink and stuff so um, I just want to make sure everything's good and dry there so um, that's what's hanging behind me uh, tomorrow we'll head out of here and start our journey toward Hiawassee, uh, which I believe is probably about a three-day journey from here. Um, I got my first resupply box <coughs> here today, so I've got a solid three days of food, probably closer to four, um, plus some leftovers that I had. So um, everything's going fine. Um, it felt good just to hang out here today, get cleaned up, just kind of lay around. I've been propping my feet up, trying to keep them up high and uh, elevated for a little bit. And uh, I think the plan is to roll out of here about 8 a.m. tomorrow. Um, the guy I'm uh, hiking with right now wants to stop by the, uh, the store there at Nail Gap, and um, I think there's a couple of things he needs to pick up. So uh, we'll probably do that, and then we'll get the hiking northbound. So um, really haven't had any soreness. No muscle soreness, my calves, my quads, everything feels good. Um, my feet are a little sore. Uh, no blisters, so that's a good thing. Um, but uh, things are going good. Uh, climbing Blood Mountain today, I was beginning to reevaluate what I was doing. Um, that was a hard climb. The wind was still blowing probably 20, 30 miles an hour. I mean, I don't know. It was howling. Um, and, of course, it was the, everything was frozen. There was snow on the ground. There was ice. 
it was a it was a climb, no doubt about it. Coming down was even worse. So, you know, I started reevaluating some things like, why in the world am I doing this? This is crazy. Um, what's crazy about it is starting in February. Now I know why most people probably start mid-March or April, but, you know, they talk about getting ahead of the bubble. There's a bubble right now. Um, they're, 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 we're hiking around all kinds of people. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure it'll get worse as the weather gets nicer, but um, they're definitely out there in force. So, but I understand why most people, uh, what are, I don't forget what the stats say, but, um, you know, a certain percentage of people quit right here at Neal Gap, and I understand why. Um, the guy at the store told us today that um, the tough terrain for Georgia is behind us. So, um, going forward, we should be able to start. I'd like to start working up and getting 10, 12 mile days, but I'm not going to wreck my feet or, or my knees or anything else just to crush miles. Um, it'll come. Um, I feel better than, than you know, what, what I thought I'd feel. So, I uh, appreciate everybody's support. Um, the comments and stuff on YouTube are encouraging. I apologize for not getting the videos out sooner. Um, there's just nothing I can do about that. There is just no cell service. Um, it's tough. I mean, I'm still right now uploading day two and day three video. Um, it's just not going out very fast. So be patient. Um, I'm trying to get them out, get them scheduled. They're probably going to start running a week or more behind because um, I don't like the stress of trying to get it edited and out, and then it won't go out. Um, so be patient with me. Um, they'll come out. Just keep, you know, keep watching, and I uh, hope you enjoy them, and I uh, appreciate your support. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it here now so that I can edit today's video, which isn't very long because um, it was freezing cold this morning. So I got up, packed up, beat feet out of camp, didn't even drink coffee or anything. I mean, just a couple of breakfast um, cookies and I was on the trail. I was gone. Um, up and over Blood Mountain. I didn't even, um, for the first couple of miles, I didn't have water. I mean, my, everything froze. Everything was froze solid, basically. Well, not solid, but it had enough ice in it that you could get water out of the water bottle. So I found a stream at the base of uh, uh, Blood Mountain. That's the last water supply until you get to Neil Gap. So um, I filled up one water bottle. Um, I used my Aqua Mira chemical um, sanitizer, I guess, or purifier, because I was afraid my filter would freeze. I had it in my pocket to keep it warm enough. But um, so I got that activated and shook up and was probably half an hour, 45 minutes before I even took a drink of that. But I got thirsty today. I've chugged a couple liters today and I'm still thirsty. So um, got to watch that hydration even in the wintertime. But when everything's very solid, it's tough. So, but um, again, things are going good, and uh, we're going to Nero here tonight at um, Blood Mountain Cabins, and uh, hit the trail in the morning, and uh, head toward Hiawassee. So, we'll see how we do. It might be a zero day in Hiawassee. I don't know. Um, I mean, I was pretty tired today, so, but we'll see. Things are going good. So, again, thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.